Well, Liam, you've picked the perfect day to come and have a chat with us because we can dissect the game on Saturday, coming off the bench and talk about making an impact. That is the stuff of dreams to have that assist and, and that goal. Yeah, definitely. Um, just just told to come onto the pitch and just ch change the game as much as I could and get involved in it as quick as possible. And on Saturday, it worked out. And um, yeah, we ended up getting the three points, which is the most important thing. Which did you like more, the assist or the goal? Does it always have to be the goal because match winner and that side of it? To be honest, I don't really know. Like it was all like a bit of a blur. To be honest, it all happened happened like so quickly. Um, I have watched it back a couple of times. Not gonna lie, um, but to be fair, for me probably the goal just because the feeling after. Um, but yeah, happy to get an assist as well. Yeah, the fact that it's the winner and it had been such a strange old afternoon. Really, so much going on, but you coming on and then getting that goal at the point you scored it. Did you feel? that's job done now, we've just got to, to be professional, we can work it from here, or were you worried that there was going to be further drama? Well, I think um, yeah, the game had a bit of everything, so you were almost looking at it like, surely not, surely they can't get back into it. Um, and thankfully, like, all the boys dug in deep and um, managed to, to see it through and got the three points and now hopefully going to the Lincoln game and in a positive way and hopefully get a result as well. When you watched the assist bat for Sam's goal, did it did it look even tighter on the telly? Because certainly from where we were sitting, we didn't realise quite how little space you had to thread it through. Yeah, to be honest, Sam made a great run, and um, probably ten times I'd only get two or three of them then through to him. So it fell nicely on the day, and um, I'm very thankful. And as a team, we're thankful as well. Yeah, knowing you, I guess you're a bit frustrated so far this season that you haven't been playing every minute, but you have made the most of the time that you have been on. Your game impacts have, have been really good. Yeah, listen, we've got, we got a big squad um, and the uh, manager has to pick a side and we're all fully understanding of that and when we do get our opportunities, we're all hoping to take them um, and that's what a good team does and long may it continue. Yeah, and the big thing for you as well is that you have been available for every game and I think it's been the case with every season really more than anything else it's been the odd injury here or there that's held you back so actually to be there ready to go for every match is a big thing yeah definitely um I was told the other night from the Arsenal game it's my first 90 minutes since promotion against Grimsby which is a long time ago um due to injuries and fitness and so that was like another tick in the box for me and yeah long may it continue because it's frustrating when you're out and you can't help the team but as long as I'm fit and I'm there then I try to do the best I can. Yeah, yeah, it makes a huge difference but something that you've always been really good at is finding that momentum quite quickly when you come back. Obviously this season you'll be hoping you don't have to do that yeah. but you have been good at, at making the, the most of that game time and getting straight back on it. Yeah, listen, man, I love playing football so that's the most important thing and um, Cambridge is obviously my hometown so I've got, got a lot of love for the club as well. So. Yeah, and we got a good good group and good players, and I think we could have a really good good go this season. Um, we're, we're not getting carried away, but taking it step by step and see what happens. And presumably, each and every day, really, yourself, Greg Taylor, Harrison Dunk, you have quite an important role to play just with that continuity. It's really nice here, and it seems to be such a big thing, having, having a strand running through the club and the squad where you've got that experience and players who really get it. Yeah, we're basically furniture here, really, now. Um, <laughs> thankfully, Greg and Doug have been here longer than me. I ain't the oldest one, so... Yeah, it's, gr it's great to have, and hopefully it's almost like a bit of a nucleus to fall back on when, when things are going well, you don't get too carried away, and when things are going badly, you don't get too down. And um, that's more the, the role that me, Dunks, and, and Greg, Greg play, and even the likes of Diggers and Willow, like they've stepped up, and I feel like we've got a real good group within a group sort of thing that can manage them and, and help young players and help people develop throughout it. Yeah, you need that, don't you? Because it's a very different experience, and you'll know this through your development, coming yeah. in as a younger player at one end of the scale, and then you guys who've been there and done it, suffered the setbacks, had the disappointments, had the great moments as well. It's a very different range of experiences. Yeah, definitely, and, and that's football. If I, if I knew my experiences now, when I was 21, I'd probably play it a lot differently. Um, but that, that's life and that's football. And if we can help any of the young players throughout it then and get the best out of them, then that's the most important thing because it will help us and it will help the club.
Yeah, one of the mad things about the game now is you all look after yourselves so well. You look at some of the players at the top level, some of the extraordinary, like a Slatan or a Ronaldo, where they're playing to such a high standard for, for so long. But there really is that sense now of football being a, a longer career than it was previously. Yeah, definitely. Um, that them sort of players are sort of outliers within it as well. Um, you have to give them a lot of credit because they're top players and they've looked after themselves and have a great careers as well. But you also have to look at the other side. There's also players that do fall out of football as well. So if you can stay in as long as you can, and the most important thing is fitness, then long may it continue. Yeah. Brill, that's great. Yeah, what do you make of LinkedIn this weekend? Uh, well, to be honest, we haven't actually debriefed them too much at the minute just because we've had so many games, but I'm sure they'll they'll be up for it. They've had a few good results um, last couple of weeks, so it'll be a good test and be, it'll be a game that we have to be 100% at and really buy into and hopefully get the result. What did you make of the performance on Tuesday? Is it one to bounce back from a bit disappointing? Yeah, it's disappointing. It's always disappointing to lose games. Um, I think for us the most important thing was to get a lot of players who haven't played so much so many minutes f through it really and uh, get fitness so that when they're called upon in the league they're, they're ready for it that's not me saying that the cup isn't important because every game's important but um, that was, I think that was the main aim and it's, it is disappointing because I didn't think we played very well at the same time um, but we've got to put that right now. You spoke about this team potentially having a real good go this season what do you think you can achieve? Listen I don't want to say um, <laughs> I don't want to get it blown out of proportion and put out of context. We're just going to take game by game. But if we can get a consistency and pick up points when we need to and hit like a level of points every five, six games that we, like we do focus on in meetings, then we've got a chance and that's the most important thing. You spoke about yourself as well with your injuries. Do you feel like that's kind of in the past now? Do you feel like you're in a good place? Well, I'm hoping so, yeah. Touch wood. Um, if I knew why I had the injuries in the past, I'd obviously try and solve it. Um, but if I can just keep managing myself and, and play when I can and be available as much as possible, then um, I'm hoping, yeah, hoping it'll be a full season. Fingers crossed. Just finally, has it been a recurring injury or completely different each time? All different ones, yeah, yeah all different right. ones. If I went through the list, you'd be here all day. <laughs> so, nah, I'm joking. Um, yeah, ra random ones, I don't really know, to be honest. Just uh, It's part of it, I guess. Um, the frustrating side of football but that's where you've got to be resilient and and keep going and yeah still here at the moment so we'll see what happens <laughs> <laughs> just just on that competition for places we were talking about yeah. earlier um mark said something on saturday in terms of you know the players have to accept that if they're coming off it's because of good players coming on or if you're yeah. on the bench it's because of good players playing in your place um from a sort of men mentality point of view is, is that sort of something you've had to get your head around because you know the strength and depth here seems to be seems to be quite high at the moment so from a player's point of view is it just a case you've got to do what you did on Saturday come on and make the most of it yeah definitely I think if you I think there's been a few games I think of the Exeter game as well when Shiloh and a couple others come on and change the game and we end up getting the result um, all players want to play every game and they want to play all the minutes that they possibly can but I think if we, we've got a good group that are very level-headed and understand that if somebody can change the game with fresh legs or or be a I don't know, a tactical option, I, I don't really know. Whatever Bonds is thinking, then you've just got to get on with it. And the most important thing is we win games and we play well as well. And if that's affected by making changes, then it's important.